Why are people going to vote for someone who has been proven time and again to be a liar? Because of patriarchy. Because of our patriarchal indoctrinations, we are taught to believe in competence over competence. You know that phrase, I'd love to have the competence of a mediocre white man? There's truth in that. And this isn't the first time in history that we are seeing this. We're going to end up talking about that man with the funny mustache in Europe, whose autobiography Trump kept on his nightstand. Patriarchal is a social system where men hold the primary power. That power gives them the primary role in political leadership, moral authority, social privilege, control of government, and control of property. Of course, that type of system requires that someone's going to be lower in that structure. Someone has to do the work for the man. This leads to the marginalization and the subordination of historically oppressed people. And so for many of us who are deconstructing from Christianity, this also has ties to religious patriarchy or Christian patriarchy. And this is where religious institutions and doctrines hold up the man as the primary authority. But patriarchal systems not only exist in church and in politics, they can exist in family structures, education, and society. So you can see here in America how often we've been exposed to patriarchal indoctrinations. What's happening here with Trump versus Biden is deceptive confidence. Patriarchal indoctrination blinds us to deceptive confidence. Leaders like Trump exploit this by presenting a facade of certainty while avoiding substantive answers or plans. Just think back to the debate. How many questions did Trump really answer? Legal analyst Monique Presley put it this way. Proof of Biden's ability to run the country is the fact that he's running it successfully. Not a debate performance against a pathological lying sociopath. Heather Cox Richardson explained that Trump used a technique called Gish Gallup. This is where someone uses a technique that throws out a fast string of lies, false claims, and basic gibberish so quickly and so fast that it is impossible to fact check. This is where we get to the man in Europe with the funny mustache. There are many cases in histories of dictators rising to the top using confidence over competence. The man with the funny mustache perfected it. When speaking about the propaganda that he was using, the funny mustache man wrote in his autobiography, quote, you must confine the propaganda itself to a few points and repeat them over and over, end quote. Who kept that autobiography by his bed? That's right, Trump. Trump is using the playbook from dictators. Trump is pretending to be competent by using a facade of confidence. Trump has mastered Gish Gallup to continue his stream of lies, both in the debate and in his campaign rallies. And yet, the masses continue to gobble that up because they're believing in the confidence over competence, thanks to patriarchy. Stay awake, use your voice, and vote.